Is it really a sophisticated balance of power, warmth, and confident masculinity? That's a pretty bold statement for anything, whether in the fashion world, the world of fragrance, the world of anything. Find out on my first impression of Perry Ellis America, coming up next. For all those checking out my channel for the first time, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon. Appreciate that very much. And for those of you that have subscribed, welcome back. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense. Today we're going to be talking about Perry Ellis America. Now, Perry Ellis America is a re release, or what they call a reimagining of a scent that was originally crafted in 1995. Its claim to fame then at that time was the pineapple note, which wasn't being used a heck of a lot at that time in, uh, in fragrances. And so while this is a reimagining, it does look like there's quite a few notes that were in the original fragrance uh, themselves. It does say it's a versatile, sporty scent aligned with modern trends, yet timeless and classic. It speaks to that spark of nostalgia, uh, but also emotes timeless trends. So, in other words, they're trying to cover all bases. So it'll make you think of all the things that you love about remembering times of the past, your favorite moments and times of the past, but also you're a trendsetter as well. You've got the past and the future covered. So a lot of bold statements about Perry Hills America. And to be honest, I don't think it can stand up to the the hype was the 21 pilot song don't believe the hype so yeah you do get a pineapple scent but i gotta be honest straight from the bottle on the strip it is synthetic it comes across as a very synthetic fragrance it, it is it is bright uh i'll give you that it kind of has a, a, a fresh Kind of a fresh scent but the overwhelming sense that i get off the strip is the the freshness is muted by almost a i don't want to say antiseptic but almost like a clinical smell to it like betadine yes notes of betadine so if you cut yourself grab some Perry Ellis america and spray on it there you go I don't know, I just, there's something about it I don't like. And I looked through the notes that are listed and I can't find what it is that that's turning me, that's, that's off-putting about this. I do catch a hint of bergamot. Later on, I think maybe in the mid of the dry down, a little bit of that, that the, the kind of the spicy, the white pepper is probably what that warmth is coming from, imbuing some warmth into the, the, the fruit, the, the pineapple. So it's not really a sweet pineapple. It's kind of more just a muted. I would say that Perry Ellis America is trying to be in the same wheelhouse as the uh, Invictus, your Aqua de Jo, your more mass appealing, fresh smelling fragrances, but it it's just not, it's reaching for it, but it's not quite grasping that freshness shelf uh, the level that you might expect. When I was about 17, the first like really nice belt that I bought to go with the suits that I was wearing at the time uh, was a Perry Ellis belt and I really liked it and I thought, oh, Perry Ellis is cool fashion. Now it seems like more Walmart style. You can, something that you might be able to find at a maybe a midline blue collar department store, something like that. And that's kind of what Perry Ellis America reminds me of. It's kind of a dumbed down version of a mass appealing fragrance, but it doesn't quite grasp what it's reaching for. This is a first impressions video, and as such, my opinion may change, because if you saw the first impressions video that Ashton posted on Gent Sense yesterday, we did skin scent samples as well as strip samples, and the skin scent samples were completely different. Of course, because there's no there's no chemistry on these, and that's the idea, right? So we're, we're supposed to get kind of a generic smell 
off of a strip. As soon as you spray it on your skin, you've got that uh, warmth of coi- uh, of coise. You've got that warmth of coise! You've got that warmth, of course, uh, that, uh, you know, that's giving it, that's, that's giving it a body to, to the fragrance and allowing it to separate some of the layers of the notes from the opening to the mid. And then of course, as the hours roll by or an hour, 45 minutes, you get a little bit of that dry down as well. So that'll speak to you as well. And, and it's often not something that, that I wait around and do on a first impression. I just kind of get the smell, you know, right out of the bottle onto the tester strip and see where it's going from there. Now the opening again, it to me, it smells very, so you do have the bergamot. That's the first thing you notice. A little bit of a fruity pineapple. I do, I do like kind of a, the juicy pineapple. Pineapple's a, a great note. I, I love some uh, n less popular fruit notes uh, like, um, like the meninka, the, the pineapple, grapefruit. But it's not overwhelming or overbearing. And it's not something that gives you a real sense of, oh wow, I'm gonna really like this. This is kind of setting itself apart. And after really, after just about five, six, seven minutes, 10 minutes, the bergamot kind of wears off a little bit. Pineapple, white pepper, possibly some some fresher spice like tarragon, something like that. Lavender, rose, myrrh, uh, patchouli, and then the woody scent of, of birch and amber coming through there. So there's a lot in this. There's a lot in this that may come out a little bit more in the in the mid and in the dry down. Uh, in, in the opening, you, you get the, the bergamot, the pineapple, of course, as a, as a freshet. And in the, in the mid sort of, after about 10 minutes, you do get a sense of the rose and the lavender. But to me, it's almost like uh, whispered promises, you know, over promising, under delivering. Again, that is a famous, famous line that I think a lot of products do, merchant merchandising world does. You know, you, you, they hire these these people that are that are witty and intelligent, and they write these amazing blurbs, and they sound great. You know, we've got your nostalgia covered, we got your past covered, we got your future trend setting covered all in one fragrance but do they really no not really and Perry Ellis America I think is no exception now it touts itself as a sporty scent a mass a, you know mass appealing kind of a manly sporty scent that you can wear on any occasion so they're trying it's almost like they're trying to cover all bases and that's okay it's understandable you know you, they want to sell a product but honestly I'm not that impressed. Uh, would I go out and buy a 100 ml bottle of, of Perry Ellis America today? I would not. If you're interested in it, I would I would say, you know, wait. The price is going to go down. Right now it's, it's upwards of $75, $80 pretty much everywhere you go. Can you get it for less? Probably, if you look around. If you wait a little bit longer, you'll probably be able to get it for less or check out some decants. Uh, get a sample of it first. Try it out on your skin. As as always, check it out uh, against your your own chemistry uh, for a day or two and see how you feel about it. My first impression is not really a positive one. Uh, it's not super negative. I do like some of the notes in it. I do like uh, you know bergamot is by and large bergamot, patchouli, amber, you know lavender, rose, myrrh, pineapple. Those are all great notes and they're used to some effect in this fragrance, but not to great effect as they could be. So guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today for a little bit and talking about Perry Ellis America. I hope you enjoyed my thoughts on this and I really would enjoy seeing your thoughts uh, as well. And that is why there is a comment section below. Maybe your, your experience with Perry Ellis America is completely different and it is welcome always want to hear you know what you think if you haven't liked this video or subscribed to this channel yet please do so now your support is extremely appreciated uh, thoughts on future videos or, or fragrances that you would like me to do a review on please leave your comments uh, below for that as well all right guys thanks again so much i'm tommy with studio sense and i'll see you next time